Why federal government fails to charge Nam De Kano for defamation of Buhari's character over cloning? Hmm. So this excerpt actually is to X-ray and analyze and understand why is it that upon all the seven count charges that federal government is putting on Nam De Kano, there's none there that has to do with defamation of character. We understand that Kano, before now, has been saying that the person sitting as president of Nigeria is not the original Buhari, that is a clone. That he used to call him the Jibrin, Jibrin of Sudan. That this person is an imposter that had been put there to sit you know, that Buhari has passed on long ago. Now, the, we understand that um, one of the crimes of, of Nam De Kano is because he has a large mouth, he has a large heart, and he's saying a lot, revealing a lot, too much secret about the Fulanis, their Fulanization agenda, the jihad, that jihadist agenda, and the Islamization agenda in Nigeria saying that Nigeria is a failed state, is, 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 is a false contraception that, you know, has to let go, that individual units or regions have to go their way, especially the Biafra has to be released to go their own separate way as well. All right? And we know that Nam De Kano has been operating from London through Radio Biafra, saying all of these things, about the state of Nigeria, the state of the nation under the watch and leadership of the Northerners. And so this man has spoken a lot about Nigerian government, about Nigerian people, about the Hausa, the Fulanis, the descendants of Usman and Fodio, and he said so many things and their plan to Islamize and to capture Nigeria. And so this got the Hausas and the Fulanis aggrieved and it's one of the reasons they don't want to release him, but they can't publicly say it, all right? And we understand how federal government under this regime have made several attempts to, to, to even annihilate this, this young man, Kokano. We know when they went to his place, uh, his family house uh, in Anambra State or so, and how they besieged the family house, how they almost killed the parent, how they killed a lot of people in his house using DSS, and he narrowly escaped death by the whiskers that night and escaped and escaped back to London. They couldn't get him. Now, they, all they said was that Kano jumped bail. Right? Unfortunately, this time around, Kano moved from, uh, from uh, uh, London to Kenya as a British citizen on personal trip. Now, when the federal government got wind of that, they quickly made move and aligned with Kenyan government where they kidnapped and, you know, got this guy, Kano, from Kenya and then tortured him a bit there and brought him back to Nigeria and locked him up for 18 months now. And now, after judging all the cases, this week and last week, all the courts have discharged and acquitted Namde Kano. But this government, under the leadership of uh, Malami, the Minister, Attorney General of Federation and Minister for Justice, refused to let Namde Kano go. They still kept him under the custody of the DSS. Now, instead of letting Kano go, what they did was to appeal the judgment to stay execution of releasing Namde Kano. All right, and now the Namde Kano lawyers have also challenged that in court, and all of that is still lingering up to now. And as of today, being Tuesday, um, the British or the United Kingdom have slated the hearing of Namde Kano's case in British High Court today, and we are going to monitor through that to see what is coming out. But again, in all the seven count charges that have been meted against Namde Kano that were crashed in the court and then it was amended again the amended seven count charges again none of it 
is including this defamation of character. Why? Now, we understand a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, where the founder of the, of the Winners Chapel, Living Fit uh, Mission, Bishop David Oyedepo, read openly in the, in the church, in one of his sermons, just right there on the altar, read a document, a publication, that shows that the man that is parading in Nigeria as our president is not the original Buhari, that he is an impostor. That one now, even government has not challenged it. All right? So the question now is that, is Namde Kano wrong when he said that the person sitting there is not the original Buhari, that is Jibreen? If it's wrong, why has federal government not challenged it up to now? Why has federal government not included it in the seven count charges that is that is made against Nam the Kano in the court? So there is something fishy about it. And why has the British kept quiet about this matter up to now? What is it that the British know that we don't know? What is the support that the British is giving the Fulani and the, and the Northerners about ruling and leader, leading Nigeria that we don't know? Because there's more to this than meet the eyes. The question is coming from all quarters. Now, they say, uh, um, they kind of been saying it, and now it's been published somewhere that was read even in Winners Chapel Church uh, not a quite a, not a short while ago, the federal government has not come out to say, Nandi Kano, why are you doing character defamation against uh, our president? Because people have compared pictures and pictures, both old pictures of Buhari and the current pictures of uh, of the same Buhari, and have tried to spot difference between the two images. A lot of differences a lot of differences have been spotted but still the government has not challenged that and they are not including it in the cases charged against Namikano. why so does it mean that it is true that the man there is not buhari himself and if it is true how long is he continue to be there and after now who is going to be there? Because the question again is, when you look at the relationship between Nigeria and Benin Republic, how far it has tried under this government, you also get scared. The role Nigeria is playing in Benin Republic is even more than the role that played for us here as Nigerians. So why has the government not charged Namdekano with character defamation? Why is this not part of the seven count charges against Nam de Kano. All right? And again, why have they refused to release Nam de Kano at all? Because they know that Nam de Kano, when he comes out, he will continue to shout. He will continue to say the same thing. He's not going to keep his mouth shut until the 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 Biafran uh, demands are met across the country. So this is what we have to say. The question that goes to the federal government, why have they not charged Namdekano for character defamation if, it is, if, if what he's saying is, is false about the impostor that is sitting as Buhari and as Nigerian pres president? So we need this question answered. And we need government to also answer this question and let someone take it up and then uh, let's have uh, your comment below there is reasoning in this question because up to now nobody has publicly challenged it so there could be some element of truth in it and if it is false why has there not been a commensurate reaction towards it so thank you for listening and let's continue to ask this question uh, until we get answers around it